Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and we're back in RPG Maker MV for another tutorial. This is going to be on an enemies tutorial. So we're going to make a few enemies and I'm going to show you the the formula that I use to calculate how much experience and, and uh, gold that they should be giving. Of course this is just a template and you're going to modify this to fit your game. Uh, first thing to look at are the experience curve for um, all my classes. All my custom classes have a straight 20 uh, experience curve. I've set everything to 20 because <clears throat> I set their max level to 999. So I want them to be able to get levels quickly and progress really fast, but not super duper fast. So uh, depending on this, you might have to adjust uh, how much uh, experience you're giving per enemy. So let's start off. So first thing I normally do is I just go down uh, through the graphics until I see something that inspires an idea and sometimes I'll even look at pictures but uh, for for this we're just gonna go through um, the graphics okay I like this Cerebrus one we'll go ahead and change the hue to something else uh, kinda like the way that one looks right there and we're gonna call this one um, something we'll get back to that um, I kind of have a ton of low-level monsters already so I'm gonna be going towards like the mid-range to uh, mid-range monsters like say about level 20 to 30 for my game so I'm gonna probably be basing their attack in the in the 100 to 200 range so we'll say uh, first thing you want to decide is is he gonna be uh, like a jack of all trades or is he gonna be focused on melee damage physical damage or is he gonna be focused on like um, low stats but really powerful skills or if he's gonna be like a caster with high magic attack so for this one I'm gonna go with uh, like a jack of all trades build so I'm gonna say he's gonna have 160 attack and I normally put their attack a little bit higher than their defenses because um, hitting for zero and really low numbers on monsters especially when you give them a lot of HP makes for long long boring fights so um, for if I was gonna give 160 attack I'd probably give about 120 defense or maybe 130 and the same thing with uh, magic attack we'll go with 150 magic attack and 110 magic defense and uh, Yanfly is coming out with the uh, active t uh, time battle system so um, agility is going to be a much bigger role uh, say in a week from now than it is right now so we're going to put his agility and luck at 100 max MP I'm going to give him some spells so he's going to need some MP so we'll say a thousand and I'm going to give him about um, probably 15,000 HP maybe a little bit less than that we'll say 14,000 <clears throat> and for the name, that's always the hardest part, naming your monsters. I don't want to just call it Cerebris or, you know, go to the default. Um, but let's give him some skills while I'm still thinking about it. Uh, double attack is a good skill to give most of your monsters. And you want to drop the rating for that, like, slightly uh, one below. Um, the rating only works in relative to the, the highest rating in the... In, uh, of all your skills so um, if you keep the default attack at five then it's gonna do a uh, double attack a third of the time let me see you can always uh, highlight your mouse over things to uh, get like a description if you highlight over here rating is it gonna tell me something priority of the action of all actions meeting the conditions the one with the highest rating will be the standard and the one within two rating points of the standard will be used actions one rating point away will be used two-thirds of the time and those two point rating points will be used a third of the time so it's going to be using um, regular attack um, I would say probably 33 percent more than it's going to be using the double attack um, triple attacks pretty good but it's also it can be overpowered especially if you give him a lot of attack I'm going to go ahead and give him some uh, some utility like something to to make this monster stand out like a status effect like just even if he's not super strong uh, he can still be a good um, mixed minion group like if you have a couple of casters and then one that puts everybody to sleep then that could uh, cause some uh, some trouble so we'll give him a uh, sleep breath and we'll also put that uh, actually gonna put that at three rating and uh, so he's got sleep breath and then we want to give him some offensive magic. So 
I usually like to stick to like elements, like um, unless it's like uh, something that has multiple elements. Uh, let's give him. I think we'll give him some fire elements. So I'm gonna assign fire at a rating five. I'm gonna give him fire two at rating four. We'll give him Flame, which is the AoE version, at rating 4. And we'll give him Flame 2 at rating 3. That seems pretty good. Now how I calculate the experience is what I, um, I add up their stats. So I, I see he's got 160 attack, plus 120 defense, plus 150 magic attack, plus 110 magic defense, plus 100 agility, plus 100 luck. And I take their maximum HP and divide that by 10. So that would be 1400, plus 1400. And then I divide this number by 4. And that would give me 535. And then I round it off. So I'll say 500 experience for this fight. And then I divide that number by 2, and that's how much gold I give. That's just the system I use, and I, I've kept that same system through all my custom NPCs, uh, or uh, enemies rather. That way they're all relatively the same uh, yield. And for drops, since he has uh, mostly fire spells, he's probably going to have fire drops. So I'm going to give him uh, fire related items that I've made. So we're going to say one out of two chance for a fire shard probably one out of four Let's say one out of six for a fire crystal and then something like an enhancement item or something um, we'll give him a magic attack sphere one out of uh, thirty so he's got a common, an uncommon, and a rare drop. I'm actually going to make this fire crystal 1 out of 8. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we got to give him a name and maybe some traits. We're going to call him... Uh, the Flame Wolf. That'll work until I find a, a better one. And we're going to add an attack element. So his attacks are also going to be fire. I'm not going to get rid of the physical one because I do have gear that will give you defense to fire and then it would make him sort of too easy if you stack that. So he's still going to have physical element but he's going to have fire element on top of that. And let's see, I think we're going to give him a state rate so when he attacks he has a chance to inflict burning which is like a really weak poison effect. We'll say half the time. No, because he's going to have double attack too so we'll say a quarter of the time. He's going to inflict burning. Um, any special parameters we want to give him? Mm. Maybe uh, to make him a little bit more difficult, I'm going to give him... Uh, I don't want to give him HP regen because then it could be a hassle later on. But what we'll do is we'll give him critical rate. So he's going to get some criticals. He's going to have some uh, a higher chance. But because I awarded this critical one, I want to um, make sure that the, he's still worth it. Um, so I'm going to up this up 10%. So I'm going to go 5,500, or actually 550, and 275. Just because I have gave him some special burning effects and critical rate bonus to uh, accommodate, to make him a little unique. So there we are. We have a flame wolf right there. And uh, let's make one more. A mimic. I like that idea. I'm actually going to make several different mimics, but I'll do that. Um, I'll make a bunch of them later on. I'm just going to make one for you guys to see. What I'm going to do is have them all look the same, and they're all going to say mimic. But they're all going to be different stats and one's going to be like a really heavy caster, one's going to be like a fighter, one's going to be uh, like a jack of all trades and one's probably going to be a super tanky one that doesn't do a whole lot of damage. 
So I'm going to have it about the same level, maybe the next step above this one. So we're going to give him 20,000 HP. Um, we're going to give him about 160 attack. Um, we're going to give him 130 defense. We're going to give him 100 magic attack and um, 100 magic defense, 100 agility, 100 luck. He's going to be our uh, our heavy melee melee hitter with like a lot of HP, and he won't have any spells. So we're going to give him dual attack as well. So double attack at four, also dual attack. Now dual attack is more powerful than double attack because dual attack will hit the same target twice, and, du and double attack just picks two different targets. Double attack can hit the same target twice, but um, most likely it won't unless you you have like a provoke or a taunt. Uh, on that. So dual attack is usually a little bit stronger than double attack. And then I'm going to give him a triple attack. Ooh, he's going to be mean. But I'm actually going to set that rating to 2, so that'll very rarely proc, but it's going to be there. So it will happen every now and then. And then we're going to give him maybe one more ability, like a body slam or something at 3. <clears throat> so I'll do the same equation in case you guys didn't uh, get that the first time. 160 plus 130 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 and then I'm dividing their max HP by 10 so that's plus 2000 and then I'm dividing this number by 4 and that's giving me 670 and uh, we'll probably up that to 700 because <clears throat> I'm going to give uh, some traits and then I divide the experience by by 2 and then that's how much uh, gold I award for his um, rate, ooh, I think maybe we should not nah, absorb would be too powerful unless it was a magical one. We won't uh, mess with any uh, elements for this one. Those are, I guess, more towards the casters. But maybe we'll give him a state rate so he can inflict something on, on attack. Paralysis could be really, really powerful. Um, We'll we'll stick with something like poison. He's gonna poison you ten percent of the time. So that's just a little bonus. And maybe one more parameter bonus. So his uh he's a melee, so he's gonna need hit rate, so we're gonna give him ten percent extra hit rate, so he'll miss a little bit less. And that would make up for the thirty extra experience I gave him. For drops, we're gonna say he's gonna drop probably uh have him drop some gold or something too. And if you want to, uh, hmm. if you want to make an item that drops other items, you can do that by creating a coffer. I'm gonna make a video on that later on, so we'll get into that later. Like, if you want to have a, a one creature drop more than three drops, Yanfly is gonna make a script for that, but it'll probably take a little while before he gets that one out. There's a way you can do it. You make a coffer, who, which calls on common, uh, common events that has that drops other items. We're going to say that this thing can drop um, gems. Yeah, we're going to say it's got a good chance of drop, dropping gems. So uh, one out of four, he's going to drop a ruby. And then one out of four, it's going to drop a sapphire. I will say one out of five because these are pretty strong they're used in my crafting system to to make stronger armors so you're gonna need these and then one more rare drop we're gonna go ahead and say he has got a one out of fifty chance to drop a shattering enchantment and shattering adds fifteen attack uh, fifteen attack and fifteen uh, magic attack i believe that's what it is to uh, a weapon or even armor so 1 out of 50, that's a 2% chance. Yeah, that's a really strong enchantment, so we'll make it like that. And there we are, we have a Mimic. <clears throat> so I hope this help, helped you guys. That equation, I'll write it down for you. You basically add all the stats. So all stats, you don't, uh, not including uh, MP, and you divide uh, max, you divide the HP by 10. So... You're going to add up all the stats, not including any MP, 
and divide the HP by 10, and then you take that whole number and you divide all of that by 4. So there's the, the equation for you. But thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe if you want more content. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.